good morning to our problem solvers and our thinkers and a big good afternoon to the explorers. Today I'm going to be reading a book called Germs vs. Soap to continue our weekly theme of germs. So let's get started. <clears throat> <clears throat> Once upon a time, and maybe even right at this moment, there were germs on hands. Of course, germs are so tiny, you can't see them with your eyes. But that doesn't mean they're too tiny to dream of energy cupcakes all day. There is, however, one thing that crushes a germ's sweet cupcake dream. So, germs absolutely, positively, do not like soap. At germ school, germs learn how to be germy. The teacher asks questions like, why are hands the very best place for germs to be? Because if the kid picks their nose, they use their germy hands, and that's how we get in. Ew, kids are gross. That's right. Eyes, noses, and mouths are like open doors for germs. And once they get in, it's time for energy cupcakes. Energy cupcakes! You're probably thinking, what are energy cupcakes? Well, they're not real cupcakes. You see, germs survive in our bodies by gobbling up our energy. And when hungry germs see energy, it looks like cupcakes. Energy cupcakes. Energy cupcakes! Once the germs finally settle down, they reflect on the importance of being on hands. Lucky for us, we're on hands, unlike poor Bjorn way over there. How do you get so far away? The kid sneezed into their elbow. Can you see Bjorn who they're talking about right there? But the rest of them are all on our hands. All germs know that eating lots of energy cupcakes, energy cupcakes, <laughs> makes them toot a lot. The toot could be a silent toot, a medium toot, or even a loud trumpet toot. Germs don't care, they just have to be stinky because stinky toots get kids sick. A sick kid will start sneezing and coughing so that the germs just fly out of there onto something new. And you know what that means? More energy cupcakes. Energy cupcakes! <laughs> oh man. Unless the germs find themselves right in front of the sink, probably because an adult told the kid to go wash their hands, 
Great. Now the kid's on the step stool. The step stool! Oh no, I feel faint. Oh, snap out of it, Arnold. Luckily for the germs, there's no more soap in the bathroom. Maybe the kid will just wash their hands with water. Water! <laughs> oh, look at me. I'm so scared of water. But you are actually scared of water, Arnold. It's quite a celebration for the germs, you know. If there's no more soap in the bathroom, in fact, it's officially called a no-soap party. Happy no-soap day! It looks like they really like it when there's no soap. All parties must come to an end, especially when an, when an adult is sniffing for the, soaps, for the soap smell. Uh-oh. It's the adult's nose right above us. Code 931, code 931, code 931. No! Wait, what does that mean again? Oh, for Pete's sake. Code 9931 is the sniff test, Arnold. It means we're going to get washed. But the germs don't give up that easily. They remind themselves that they've been here for bazillions and bazillions of years. They've outlived the dinosaurs for crying out loud. Say it loud and say it proud. Who are we? Germs! What do we want? Energy cupcakes! What's gonna stop us? Soap! It is always a good idea to double check before making any sudden moves. Number one is the kid on a step stool. Number two, are their sleeves rolled up? Number three, are they reaching for the soap? Number four, do they have a very serious look on their face? Number five, if you check marked everything, you're gonna get washed. Germs know to rush to the safe zones. Well, some of them. Get between the fingers, under the nails, and on the back of the hands. Move it, move it, move it. Don't fight the bubbles. Just stay inside of them. We're going under in three, two, one. Arnold, get away from the middle of the palm. You're going to get... Ew, this soap is so cold and slimy. Whoa, it's way too slippery here. I can't even hang on anymore. <gasps> hey, you know what? This soap isn't too bad. Blah, blah, gah, blah. The germs prepare to get scrubbed for at least 20 seconds. One, rub hands palm to palm. Two, back of hands two. Three, in between fingers. 
four, back of fingers, five, don't forget about the thumb, six, and under nails. In all that commotion, the germs get distracted by the bubbles. Look at all these bubbles. It's a bubble blizzard. Bubbles, pretty bubbles everywhere. They're so shiny. But none of them could have prepared for this moment. Look, I have a bubble butt. Oh no, we've lost our germy lair. Look at us, we're squeaky clean. Squeak! Guys, watch out! It proves to be a little fun for some of them. Hey look, he's on a bubble. What up dudes and dudettes? Don't mind me, just surfing down the line. What's wrong with him? Soap fumes. Brah, is that a shark? Uh, you know we're not really in the ocean, right? Right. Whoa, it got dark. Who turned off the lights? Am I on a slide? Whee! This is the drain, Arnold. an energy cupcake. Yummy. That's old toothpaste, Arnold. Arnold. And so the germs go down the drain. The end. That's not the end. There'll be more germs, you know. And there'll be more soap. All right, Epic. So after reading Germs versus Soap, my Flipgrid question for you is, why is it important that we wash our hands? Why? Why do we do it? Why is it important? Take a moment to think about it. Head on over to Flipgrid and I will see you there.